So, hey guys, welcome to another episode of Meteor Builders. In this episode, I'll be talking about a gradient brush. And that's something I've seen on Twitter pass by. Uh, I think it was Denzaru's uh, Twitter account that posted it. And a lot of people have been asking, how did he do that? How do you brush with a gradient? I mean, nobody does that, but he did it. And well, I'll offer some testing uh, together with some other people from Solari. Well, we figured out a good way to do it and we're calling it the gradient brush. We're not going to sell this, but we're just going to show you how it's done. And what we're going to need for that is a gunpowder arrow, so fox sniper. Um, I used go brush for the terrain that you see behind it. Um, the world that it wand and a couple of tools so you're also I'm gonna use this palette you can use other palettes if you want but if you want a gradient then it's best well he used this uh, particular palette in his video in his little gif so I thought I'd use this one as well so first what we need to do is select a brush gonna go with the diamond shovel for this one and you do slash up one okay so what you do then is you do brush sphere six percent air this is really important if you want this to work and 40 percent diamond block and then as radius pick about nine that should be on a, enough and then mask off and there you have it that's a little sphere for you now you go do none and if you want the light is on the top yeah we want that so we're gonna start with well so we're gonna start with the uh, end stone and we're gonna mask that to 57 uh, brush cylinder 121 by 25 and mask that to 57 so there you go another layer and then we're gonna throw in some sandstone that's 24 that way you get that nice little gradient now we go all out on the sandstone and now we mix in birch wood which is 5 2 24 and 5 2 there you go so basically you repeat this across this palette until you get a nice sphere i'm gonna do that real quick Okay, so there we have it, a little gradient ball. I didn't use all the colors, because I sort of wanted a lighter effect. But yeah, okay. So what we do now is position one, just select the ball basically. Then you do, you don't need to be this close to it, but I just always do it. Copy it and assign it to your tool which is with brush clipboard minus a okay now we have it equipped and we're gonna mask it to 57 what you can also do is mask it to that but that masks us to everything except for air some get better results with this i usually get a better result if i just mask the the target block so 
with that all set up it's time to start painting and it should look a little bit like this does this seem familiar it is a bit laggy but that's just the server i'm using so if you want dark to go down you just stroke from up to down and if you want it the light to come up you just stroke upwards that way you get that nice contrasting where they meet and you can also stroke sideways and downwards a little other effect and just make sure to cover everything You can also use this clipboard brush for shaping if you want. Um, I've also used it to put in vegetation on top of this. If you must go lighter colors and then put some nice plants and other, well, everything you want basically. This is one of those tools you can just go nuts with and just discover all the possibilities. I also made a tsunami with this on Dawn, it was also pretty cool, I'm not going to show you that right now, but you should see it sometime soon. Anyway, this is a basic explanation of gradient brush, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want a full explanation of how I made this terrain or other things about this brush, you can always message me and maybe I'll even do another video about it. So. I'll see you guys. Bye.